My name is Neil Burke, I'm farming here with my father. Um, we're milking 350 cows, both in spring and winter milk. 25% um, of the herd are calving in the autumn time, with 75% calving in the spring. We consider ourselves relatively grass focused farmers. We grass measure weekly and our aim is to get cows out to grasses early after calving in the spring and in the autumn as keep them out as late as we can. Our current protocol for fluke control on the farm is to analyse our Glambia quality analysis. This sample is taken from the milk tank every three months. Um, from here we can get a clear indication of where we stand in terms of fluke in the herd. Previously on the farm we have had issues with liver fluke. In particular it came with our autumn calvers two years ago. We've seen a dramatic fall in milk yield. The dose regime on this farm is we use Tribex two weeks after housing during the dry period. This gives us massive reassurance. We've killed all fluke in the herd and cows are able to go out with a clean bit of health in the spring. So herd health is taken really seriously in this farm. Tribex fits perfectly into our herd health protocol as it kills all three stages of fluke and sets the cows up really well for the dry period and a further more productive lactation. Tribex can also be used in beef cattle. Using it two weeks post housing is going to cover you for all three stages of liver fluke. So you're going to have a clean bill of health for the winter and for the subsequent grazing season and you're going to have no pasture contamination next season. Finishing beef cattle affected by liver fluke can take up to 80 days longer to reach targets. So you're talking an extra 200 euros and you're going to see a drastic reduction in feed efficiency also. When dosing with Tribex it's very important to make sure your equipment is calibrated correctly and to dose based on your animal's weight. If you haven't got a weigh-in scales, dose based on the heaviest animal in the group. So Tribex is a very safe product in this regard. 